OK, welcome to the next bit. <laughs> um, what we're going to be doing now is just very simply adding our um, file names as links to the page like we did before. So we're going to loop over the uploaded array. Um, so we're going to use a for loop. So for is equal to 0, while i is less than uploaded length. Yep, we're going to precrement i. Didn't say it wrong that time. And then inside of here, what we need to do is create a div element and a link element. So we're going to create the div and the a, put the a inside the div, and then put the div inside the uploaded. <laughs> so that's the process. Let's go back to our script and do it. So what we need to do is create a new div element here. And now because this loop is going to execute a few times, we can't use, or we shouldn't use, the var declaration like this. So these need to be declared above it. So we'll create two new variables here one called div, one called a. You can do that with the comma as well, that's just sort of a short one line thing if you're going to be using them in a loop. And then here we'll do div equals document dot create element, which is how you create a new, you know, well, element. And then it takes one parameter, which is the name of the element, so in this case it's div. And we need to do the same for the a, so document create element a and then what we need to do is set the href attribute so in the same way as we did here we just set this with javascript so we need to set it to files slash in the name and the name is in the uploaded the ith element of the uploaded array so what we'll do is do a set attribute and we're going to be setting the href attribute to files slash and then the name, which is uploaded. Is that right? Looks right. Uploaded i, like so. And then we need to um, add the text in between the a. So again, if we go look back to our PHP script, that's this bit. It's just the name of the file. So we do that in the same way as we did up here. We do a append child. We don't need to worry about removing all of the elements from this a tag because. Um, there aren't any, we've just created it. So we're appending a new text node, so document create text node, and then the name, which is just this, and there we go. Then we need to add the link to our div that we just created, so we'll do div append child a, and then we need to add our div to our links um, thing element. So we'll do links dot append child div. There we go. And that is that pretty much done. So if we go back to our browser now, hit refresh, and we'll just select some new files, um, select a lot, and then this big one so we see the percentage. Oh, that'd be ridiculous, let's not do that. Open, and we'll hit upload. Uploading, and then the links didn't appear because I've made a bit of a mistake. Uh, document spelled wrong. OK, fine. That's an easy fix. Let's try again. Upload. And again, what we're done now. Uploaded. Spelt wrong. OK, good. So many typos. Right. Final time. Upload. And there we go. We've got our links. So if I just click on one of these, you can see we get linked to the actual page. And that's basically it. So that's everything for this tutorial. So thank you for watching, and that's it. JavaScript. Oh, I suppose I should make one final note. Um, if the, uh, let's see, say the form data object is not um, available, then this script will cause an error. So what you should really do is, before you do any of this stuff, you could check for the form data object. So you could do that simply by doing something along the lines of that, or you could also do the type of, so you could do type of form data is not undefined, which I can't type, but um, that's just a note about something, because say if that does cause an error, you might get a little warning in the bottom of your browser window. But yeah, that's something for you to work out. Hopefully soon all the browsers will be supporting this. Anyway, thanks for watching, and 
that's everything.